mask the demand for face mask has been intensifying whether for the protecting against air pollution or microbial attack in fact a protective mask is one of the best options in safeguarding against covid-19 pandemic as per the health experts and government regulatory advisories surgical mask according to fda a surgical mask is a loose fitting disposable device that creates a physical barrier between the mouth and nose of the wearer and potential contaminants in the immediate environment usually surgical mask is used by physicians in surgical procedures or physical examination of patients this is done to protect the patient surgical mask are not intended to be used more than once if the mask is damaged or spoiled or if breathing through the mask becomes difficult then it should be removed and discarded as per medical procedure the filtration efficiency and protective ability of a face mask is compromised when the mask becomes wet torn or dislodged under this condition it has to be discarded and disposed accordingly A surgical mask is meant to help block large particle droplets, splashes, sprays or splatter that may contain germs, viruses and bacteria so that patient is not exposed to aerosol borne contamination caused by sneezing, coughing saliva spray by doctors, nurses or other medical personnel. A mask may also protect clinicians from the byproducts of surgical procedures such as bone chips, splashes of body fluids and smoke plume resulting from laser or electrosurgical techniques respirator n95 for general uses according to fda it is a respiratory protective device designed to achieve a very close facial fit and very efficient filtration of air borne particles it is a tight fitting mask the n95 designation means that when subjected to careful testing the respirator blocks at least 95% of very small particle sizes up to 0.3 micron current trends is that all fda cleared n95 respirators are labeled as single use however efforts are being made to develop methods of sanitizing n95 mask for repeated use at least a few times to optimize cost factor N95 respirator mask can only be used for oil free aerosols these are expected to minimize aerosol contamination of the mucous membranes of the nose and mouth they are as well preferred in the public environments where pathogens are likely transmitted through aerosol particles generated via sneezing coughing saliva ejection and so on P1 mask for filtering mechanically generated particles such as crushing grinding drilling sanding and cutting p2 mask for filtering mechanically and thermally generated particles such as welding fume against some bio aerosols such as h1n1 and h5n1 influenza other aerosol based viruses or bacteria mask management for any type of mask appropriate use and disposal are essential to ensure that they are effective and to avoid any increase in transmission before putting on a mask wash hands with alcohol based hand rub or soap and water cover mouth and nose with mask and make sure there are no gaps between your face and the mask color side be outwards replace the mask with a new one as soon as it is damp and do not reuse single use mask to remove the mask remove it from behind do not touch the front of the mask discard immediately in a closed bin wash hands with alcohol based hand rub or soap and water alerts extended use of medical mask may increase risk of contamination of the mask with covid-19 virus and other pathogens damage to or reaction of face skin tissue may occur with prolonged use of medical mask filtration media of the medical mask may become clogged thereby increasing breathing resistance 
and the risk of breathing unfiltered ambient air from the sides of the medical mask facial dermatitis respiratory induced acne respiratory fatigue impaired work capacity increased oxygen debt early exhaustion at lighter workloads elevated levels of co2 increased nasal resistance are likely thanks for watching please to subscribe our channel